morning everyone. We got kicked out of our room for uh, room cleaning. Plan is to get something to eat, then to study for a bit and uh, to play. It's Saturday, healing okay. Mexican twice yesterday maybe was a little bit of a mistake, uh, but it's fine, it's fine. See ya. Look at these smoothies, look amazing. Got a taste review. What do you think? Looks. <laughs> really cold, really lemony. 8.1. Got some of the classics here. Pork neck, papaya salad, and fried rice with chicken. Pork is good here. I always say this. Ah, oh, fuck, so hot. They make pork way better here. <laughs> How to eat papaya salad? Mm, nice, so good. Good? No. No? It's okay. Mm. Rice is very good. Mm -hmm. This is 8.4. Breakfast was uh, great. We paid 10 euros with a tip. Uh, we are heading back to hotel. Hopefully it's cleaned. Uh, and we can study a bit and then stream. We also got some mean comments yesterday. And on Reddit, I started spamming my vlogs on Reddit. Poker the channel. I don't know man, I like this, you know, whole streaming and vlogging and doing content shit But also I'm not uh, like, uh, my skin is very thin uh, I have this leak as a content creator, you have to, you have to just ignore that shit All the mean stuff, right? And focus on uh, people who like it uh, I'm creating, I'm doing this for the people who are supporting me and for myself of course but yeah, I take that shit personally, uh, and it hurts, but whatever. So, we clocked in uh, 45 minutes of studying. Prop finally explained how should I approach like big blind defense uh, post-flop. Uh, it's way more enjoyable to, to play and think about the game uh, this way because I used to think like I would just see my hand I would see the opponent sizing uh, and I would decide do I want to call do I want to fold and now I'm thinking about what other parts of my range how good the other parts of my range interact with the board and then I like obviously I'm horrible at this because I just started but then I I can guess uh, if just calling like top pairs, middle pairs is enough? Probably no. I need to start floating uh, with some king highs, queen highs. But then if board uh, is like, I don't know, a6-7, then like middling part of my range connects uh, with those sixes and sevens really well. I have tons of straights and shit. Uh, so I don't need to float that much with like high cards. I think that's how it works. I'm just starting. Also, if there is a flush draw on the flop, it means I I have tons of snap calls with flushes and probably with backdoor flushes. So, with other parts of my range, it, uh, it works somehow. I haven't figured out uh, fully, obviously. I played like uh, 700, 800 hands in GTO Wizard in total, which is like nothing. But it it's fun to use my brain, not to, not just to guess. And it's super, yeah, it's super fucking rewarding when you press that uh, call or fold button in GTO Wizard uh, after like figuring it, figuring it out. Because half of the spots like they just bet you have a pair and uh, you call or fold or whatever. But like in these like very close spots where I don't guess, where I actually figure it out. Like okay. 
that's how it works so probably i will call this like that super rewarding and amazing feeling and uh, it gives me uh, yeah that sense of uh, improving and doing something so it's fun to study especially when you get these moments i think it's scary for me personally to tell you the truth it is scary sometimes even like there's so much information I'm scared that I won't be able to learn because this is another like insecurity of mine we talked about being scared that I'm not smart enough to to understand poker and to actually learn it but uh, some things some things are, are sticky or maybe I anyways I don't know but I'll do my best to try, learn as much as possible and fight that inner uh, inner uh, hater. I talked about haters on Reddit and, and YouTube in the morning, but the biggest hater of them all is right fucking here, who is uh, mega unsupportive and uh, yeah, just hating and uh, trying to push in these insecurities uh, and looks for every single possible like uh, spot to to make sure that yeah this is the insecurity i was talking about you are stupid you are weak etc 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 i don't feel like playing at all but we will use this opportunity to to play first of all this is vlog working again i would i would take this as a day of uh, nine times out of ten in the previous like two years just not feeling i like it I don't kinda need it, like in general, right? Nothing will happen if I won't play. But now we have vlog, now we have prop, and prop is not just wasting his time on me. He, he will need to see some fruits and I will need to show some fruits, so we need the volume. And for uh, studying purposes, we need the volume too. So we need the volume, I need it. I want uh, to show it and yeah use this as an opportunity feeling shit you don't want to play but we will play a few hours later and i lied i feel like a such a fucking pussy you can't even imagine i i don't know but i mean it's probably a bit bad that i'm so harsh on myself but on the other side it's good that i feel ashamed and that I am forced to record this. I'm not making any excuses. Someone wrote, Susha, you're too emotional. Other professionals, they just click buttons and they don't care. I know. I know I am too emotional. But uh, that's who I am. I don't, I'd like, I don't want to be a robot who has no emotions. I mean, we are talking about different kind of emotions now. But... Uh, it's me. I don't think I should uh, fight that. I want to improve and get better, but uh, things like being emotional, uh, except at the tables when it affects our play, I don't think I should fight that shit. I should even more accept it. And that would help me probably, but um, uh, anyways, anyways. I just spent uh, one hour in the bed, my stomach was real bad. Uh, God I even wanted to take a fall uh, for this. <laughs> to, <laughs> for me to say... Uh, I don't, to lie something. Which is cute. But now I said we are not going to lie in this vlog. I think the only method that works, and I'll have to use it, is uh, this punishment with money so I'm announcing that tomorrow if I won't play uh, we add a hundred more, do more dollars to the giveaway which should happen soon probably on thousand subscribers or maybe sooner once uh, like uh, we get some naturally tickets to give away we are going to do the same thing once I'm back in Lithuania with my weekly and monthly goals because this method it works like I think I did it six times probably I failed on failed only once and it was recorded on the vlog but it works and since I am such a pussy so yeah I have I found method that works for me so I'll do it 
from my side whatever the fuck happens in my life and uh, whatever the fuck I think on daily basis you get like 90% 95 of unfiltered and unfiltered inform information and whenever we have these talks me and you you get sometimes even more than uh, you should so that's I think that's the key and the main thing uh, if I'll stop doing this being uh, truthful then like there's no point in doing anything I, I mean vlogging and uh, yeah so we'll keep doing that and I think it's the thing that I guess gives me a little bit edge separates me a bit from like other streamers content creators because I don't have that many other edges I'm a mediocre poker player so obviously people choose often to watch uh, high stakes best players or low stakes crushers so I don't have an edge uh, in that spot uh, in terms of my like uh, entertainment value I think it's like okay maybe uh, better than average uh, but uh, I'm the, I speak my third language so we lose few points in this spot so the only thing that I mean I hope it is true is being open truthful to you and I'm talking about when I stream on Twitch I'm always uh, being uh, maybe sometimes even too harsh on myself and like talking saying too much but uh, that's the thing. Plata, see, third language. I can't even explain. But I think those who watch the streams and a little bit of vlogs, uh, I hope. Yes, that's the main thing. I know, I know, that all of you are as fucked up as I am. Just maybe in some different spots. But lots of you will relate with things I'm going through. Uh, and people write me messages. And this is when I get the most like support and it pushes me forward when people tell me yes I relate with this I relate with that yada 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 which is like super nice and uh, yeah that's my thing that's my thing being open and even to open and Goda sometimes gives me shit like how can you say everything so easily in the vlogs uh, but not to me like literally I don't know, it's easier that way, etc. I really don't want to let prep down. I'm not sure. Like, I don't think I'll get many more chances like this. Like, prep, I'm getting older in the world of poker for sure. And uh, I, do, I do feel that I'm finally, like I had some absolutely insane coaches and situations but I wasn't ready like mentally at all I wasn't ready as a poker player for sure but especially like mental side I was too young uh, and I'm still I still have all these leagues but I think uh, I don't know with therapy with life experience unfortunately I had to make the same mistakes hundreds of times not smart enough to learn from others I had to make my mistakes get some experience and now I feel that I I actually can learn and from this very small sample from first week I fully believe and see obviously besides prop having absolutely insane results and being uh, one of the best players in mo morning schedule on the dot like 100% he's uh, good at exp explaining that shit and I believe the process 100% so and I finally believe that I'm ready so this is the moment to do it and like that's one of the reasons why I feel so shitty right now um, because I I want to make it this time it's good timing with me good timing with me vlogging everything and uh, in general uh, the the spot I am in my life I think like I'm 28 years old soon uh, if I'll be in this situation in two years I think that's going to be that's going to end bad in the long run so 
this is the time and place to do it, Susha. So please, stop, stop. I, I read uh, Jordan Peterson's book, uh, 12, rules of, Twelve Rules of Life, and I think rule number, whatever the fuck number is, but the rule is, stop doing what you know is to be wrong. I mean something like this, maybe I rephrase it a bit, but just stop doing whatever the fuck you know is wrong. And I I don't follow this rule, and it's a pretty fucking good rule, because our like moral compass, I think, and uh, yeah, like moral compass plus, I don't know, my that life path compass, which shows me what should I do in life, it tells me, like I know deep inside of me, I don't not going to bed early, eating uh, bullshit, uh, just not taking care of my body, etc, 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 it's it's bad, stop doing it, Susha, because tomorrow, I mean, we have to think about tomorrow in these spots, ah, is this too long, I feel that uh, me talking, like me talking for so long now is also like, trying to appeal to you a bit maybe get some empathy and sympathy uh, because I do get that and it makes my ego feel a little bit better um, so that's one of the reasons which is a bit shitty I think like one of my biggest leaks is and we talked about this with prop and I know this not playing enough this also that I just I just didn't fucking play and we talked about this and we know this and I still didn't play I still didn't stream me playing more would help with my poker skill with my studying process it would help streaming it will help vlogging because whenever I stream I promote vlog we get like five subscribers per stream it just helps everything whenever I play and I still didn't do it like how pathetic is that Hundred dollars to the giveaway at thousand subscribers if I don't stream tomorrow. Uh, we have our study session tomorrow. Uh, we have one more week in Thailand, full week. Then we go to Vietnam. Once I'm back in Vilnius, we do. We will do like, let's call it prop bet between me and the viewers, monthly and like weekly or monthly prop bets. We we don't know how to make these. Uh, vlog not vlogs but these monologues more interesting because people these days uh, are just right clicking uh, at the next video whenever it gets a little bit more boring i don't know how we can make them more entertaining uh, I don't know. maybe we should have fewer of them let me know in the comments like share subscribe see you now some souvenirs for my friends from my favorite store I bought t-shirts here four years ago still wearing them don't wait I don't want to show you so my friends won't see <laughs> thank you God is not sure if she's brave enough to wear it. Yeah, <laughs> Six hundred. Yeah. Price is dropping. Prop same. One, two, three, four.